Fat Joe is a hip hop artist, a cultural icon, and a host of the 2022 BET Hip Hop Awards. His flows not only anchor some of the most iconic bangers in hip hop, but he's responsible for introducing heavy hitters Remy Ma, DJ Khaled, and Big Pun to the world. It's time to lean back and take a look at the legacy of Fat Joe. Born Joseph Cartagena in 1970, Fat Joe literally witnessed the birth of hip hop. Raised in the Bronx Forest Garden Projects, Joe's older brother introduced him to hip hop. He gained his childhood nickname Joey Crack on the schoolyard because of his sagging pants. Surrounded by rhyming, breakdancing, DJing, and graffiti, Joe became interested in the new genre. Of Cuban and Puerto Rican heritage, Joe watched his hip hop gain popularity and the Latin artists contributed to its growth. Some of Joe's early influences were lyricists like Tito from The Fearless Four and Ruby D from Grand Wizard Theodore and The Fantastic Five. Later in his career, Fat Joe drew inspiration from other Latin MCs like Mellow Man Ace, Kid Frost, and Cypress Hill. By the early 90s, Fat Joe, then known as Fat Joe the Gangster, began flexing his lyrical chops as a member of the Digging in the Crates crew, which was founded in 1992. The collective included Lord Finesse, OC, Showbiz and AG, Buck Wild, and Big L, among others. He cut his first demo and went on to win the world famous Apollo Theater's Amateur Night multiple weeks in a row. Legendary music manager and executive Chris Lighty was hyped about what he saw, presented Fat Joe with the record deal, and Joe signed in the middle of the street. Fat Joe would release his debut solo album, Represent, making him the first Latino rapper in NYC to score a solo deal with the major record label. The track, Flo Joe, would achieve number one on the Billboard Hot Rap Songs chart. After releasing his sophomore album, Jealous One's Envy, in 1995, Fat Joe left Relativity and signed with Atlantic Records. Signing with Atlantic opened the door to Fat Joe to form his own label, Terror Squad Productions, where he signed the hip-hop collective of the Terror Squad in 1998 with Cuban Link, Cool and Dre, Armageddon, Triple Sace, Prospect, DJ Khaled and Big Punisher, AKA Big Pun, as original members, then Tony Sunshine and Remy Ma joining years later. While Terror Squad the group appeared on Fat Joe's 1998 release, Don Cartagena, which would certify gold and debuted at number seven on Billboard US 200, Terror Squad's first release as a record label was Big Pun's Capital Punishment that same year. Pun's only solo album, Capital Punishment, is considered by many as one of Fat Joe's finest achievement that contributed to hip hop culture. The album was certified platinum by the RIAA, making Pun the first Latino solo rapper to achieve the certification. The album was certified gold by Music Canada and ranked 128 on the greatest 200 hip hop albums of all time, where Rolling Stone cited Pun's delivery as a super helix of rhymes, inside rhymes, inside rhymes, meticulously shaped into devastating tracks. Fat Joe released his fourth album, Jealous One Still Envy, J-O-S-E, in 2001, which was certified platinum, and its success remained from January to May of that year. Produced by Irv Gotti, the project featured chart-topping artists including Busta Rhymes, Ashanti, Ludacris, and Ja Rule, among others. Although Fat Joe continues to release music, he's diversified, expanding across media, entrepreneurship, and philanthropy. Joe's appeared in over 20 film and television projects, including Spike Lee's Netflix series, She's Gotta Have It, the voice of Seymour in Happy Feet, playing himself in Scary Movie 3, and the Fat Joe Show on Revolt TV. With music always a priority, a few of his tracks also appear on a popular video game, Grand Theft Auto 4. He's also participated in several programs aimed at promoting youth education and activity including donating computers at his old school in the Bronx and with our forever floaters, Michelle Obama's Let's Move initiative. I'm always into giving back to the community. Fat Joe is also a dedicated proponent of inclusion in hip hop. In a 2018 interview, Fat Joe shared, it was always diverse. It was always Latino, black, white, Asian, whatever. We were always taught to embrace everybody who loves hip hop music. And so I have an obligation to that. And I have a responsibility to the culture that far exceed financial gain or wealth. It's the wealth of the culture, preserving the culture. Fat Joe's moves within hip hop have made him legendary.
a trailblazer whose work has proven to move hip hop forward. His longevity is enviable. As we get ready for the 2022 BET Hip Hop Awards, we bow down to this year's host, Fat Joe.